It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of rock and roll, Cleveland, Ohio, and Cleveland Brown Stadium. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olton here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football, and you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense, we're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another, and I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends, but come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. The veteran kicker, Dustin Hopkins, out to get things started. And off we go from Cleveland. Now return, coming from the seven. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. Second down, it's Dak. He'll find his tight end. That's Jake Ferguson. They'll look to pick this up. Third and a yard. On the give, it's Elliott. That's going to be pretty close. Looks like he's got it, and he does. First down. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. First down. Prescott. On throw here, right side. Falls incomplete. He was looking for Brandon Cooks with that pass. And it'll bring up second down. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Hand off here to Zeke. Woo! And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. They gain 18 yards on that one. That's good for a Dallas first down. This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. They'll come up here first and 10. A shotgun snap for Prescott. Completed right side to Ferguson. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Second and seven. Here's Zeke. Oh, oh. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That one, good for 13. That's good for a Dallas first down. 
Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game. Couple nice big explosive runs. Expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds. Dak can throw it here on first down. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. Second down, Prescott. That's complete to Elliott. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Prescott on first down. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Scott on third and two. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. On fourth down, it is pro bowler Brandon Aubrey for the Dallas field goal. This one is good. He knocks it through. And the Cowboys will take a 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kicks away. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Browns led out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The stardom early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. He spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media. And the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference. But if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. Watson going to throw right away. That's into the hands of Judy on the right side. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes. And once you do, you can try to go for the big one. Now the Georgia Bulldogs. Here's Nick Chubb. And he's going to have a Browns first down as the tackle's made at the 36. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. 
Once again, it's Chubb. A gain of 16 yards. It's a Browns first down. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Watson, going to give it to Chubb. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. to the first down, gets four yards on the game, but it will bring up third down. Watson's going to throw here on third and one. He's got the hook up there to Cooper. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. First down, Cleveland. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do every team makes an emphasis on winning first down but as a defense when you're able to take them back for a loss second and long you can really become more of a pass centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor using the jet sweep for the fake they run it up the middle and this is going to make the play caller happy. Good run. Eight yards. Much more manageable third down coming up. So just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. It's the Cowboys with the early edge. And we're back to Cleveland in a minute. They'll come up to third and three. They'll try and run it here, and it's Chubb. And he'll have it. He'll have it at the 16-yard line. First down picked up as the running game comes through. On the handoff, this is Chubb. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They dropped him in the backfield. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming, and he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. From the shotgun, here's Watson. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Here's Chubb. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Najoku, the tight end, is the one in motion. 
running is Chubb. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Throwing on third down, Watson. That is caught back corner of the end zone. Gary Judy. Touchdown, Browns. And of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. So replay is going to take a look at this one and make sure it is good for six. The question, did he get his hands around the football in the end zone? If he did, it's a touchdown. But this one's going to need very close scrutiny. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Browns move out to a 7-3 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. <laughs> He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Cowboys offense going to take over now for the second time. The trail by four. Touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and 10. play action. Here's Dak. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now Prescott. A short throw caught by Ferguson. Well, that helps. It's going to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And Depending on the speed and the run after catchability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. Third and short. Prescott. Good work after the catch. They gain 19 yards and a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and 
That was a good one there. They go right back to him. This catch, good for 11 and a first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. And he'll get about five. Second down throw for Prescott. This pass right side taken in by Cooks. How about four catches on this drive alone? Time to change the defense. This one gets him another first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. When they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And now set up second and goal. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no game. They'll go with him again. Yielded three. They'd like more. Let's see what happens on third and goal. Operating from to the end zone. It's intercepted. That's the safety, Brett Delpit. Oh, and in that spot, Mike, that's just painful to see. If the throw's not there, you want him to just get rid of it. Throw it 50 rows into the stands. Give somebody a souvenir. But worst case scenario, you've got to get to fourth down and have a shot at three points. But instead, after that pick, you come away with zero. Nick Chubb and the rest of the Browns offense set to take over again. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Space taking it for six out to the 26 yard line. They'll work now on second and four. Out of the gun, Watson. That's complete to Moore on the right side. They'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Well, a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Seven three is the score. Two minutes to play in the first half. We'll have more from Cleveland after this. On second down, here's Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. It's a pickup of 12. It's a Browns first down. Shotgun snap to Watson. He'll tuck it and take off. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. He'll come up here on second down and five. Here's Watson. Now sets up a screen for Chubb. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They had the right play called. The screen goes for 15. And a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Throwing is Watson. There's a short throw caught by Najoku. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping. And that ball's intercepted by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have it here as they'll start from their own seven. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. you got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Cowboys offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Dak. There's Ferguson, the tight end. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. So we've reached the intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. We just watched a strong first half from quarterback Deshaun Watson. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see who can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. Now an opening past the 30. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Browns offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. 
They'll begin with first and ten. Now it's Watson. That's taken in by Chubb. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And this is the run after catch so often in some phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. Second and a yard. Back to throw is Watson. On the quick slant, that's Judy. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of none. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself. And after that last completion on the way back to the hole, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. Here's Watson now on second down. This one caught by Aiken. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. First time they've looked his way all game long. But he comes through with the grab and a first down. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. To throw on second down, under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. This is a great example of the game within the game. You're going to hear the offensive line and the quarterback. They're making what they call a mic declaration. It's not so much that that's who they're responsible for, but it sets the responsibilities of all the protectors. But in this case, the mic was the one who came, so clearly either the running back missed his call or the offensive line didn't do their job, because either way, Somebody has to have him accounted for, and instead, they take the sack. Inside the tent, it is caught. And he's going to be taken down. That is a gain of 20. What a chance now. First and goal coming up. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. When you just show pre-snap, it is straight man coverage, and then you stay in it once the ball is snapped. It just makes it so easy on these quarterbacks, Mike, to just find the matchup that they like and exploit it. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. They got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. So 
pushed back to the 11 yard line for second and goal. A run out of the gun. Here's Chuck. And he'll be taken down. Let's call it the seven yard line. And here comes third and goal. Here's Watson. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. You find yourself trailing coming out of the halftime break. Your defense is going to start on the field. And, man, what a great way to get this half started. Keep this game within one possession. Get the ball back to your offense and see what they can do. Fourth down, Dustin Hopkins now for the Browns' field goal. This a 31-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Browns go out to a 10-3 lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Cavante Turpin on the return. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready for their first possession of this second half. Just the lone field goal for them so far, down 10-3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. Play fake. Dak. To the left side. Caught by Lamb. 19 yards right away to kick off this drive. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. On second down, it's Dak. That's into the hands of the veteran Cooks. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. On play action, here's Dak. Open man, downfield, it's CeeDee Lamb. Well, they hook up again, second time on this drive, and this one's good for 18 yards and a first down. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. They'll run Zeke up the middle. What more could you ask for on first down? 
Nice run of eight. Setting up second and short. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. The extra point by Aubrey is good. And the Cowboys will tie things up. It's now 10 to 10. This one's kicked off. Now return coming from the seven. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Browns offense and their star running back, Nick Chubb, set to take over once more. Low-scoring game, all tied, third quarter, and a touchdown here could go a long way. See if they can get it on this drive. First and ten. the shotgun. Here's Watson. A quick slant. Looked in by Moore. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page and when executed at that level it's virtually impossible to stop. Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He may have trusted his arm strength a little bit too much on that throw. Two defenders in the area. Work to your check down. Work to an open receiver. I think in this case, he forces that ball, and ultimately, he's lucky he got away with it. That one on target to Moore. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. They run out of the gun and it's Chubb. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. So, points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Now, Watson... This is intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are going to get the football at their own 40. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback. Because this defense, they're on to you. 
They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. The Cowboys offense make their way out to take over once more. We're all even. Fourth quarter, so every drive so important at this stage. And they'll start with first and ten. They'll stick to the ground. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Terrific starter there. Gain of 15 and a first down. That's a heck of a run right here, Mike. Tie game, fourth quarter. Everything's on the line. Can you win in the trenches? Can the threat of that run continue to balance off the pass? And that's a big game there as they try to go take this lead. Working his way across the field. Caught by Lamb. One big play followed by another. This one good for 28. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game, fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame them. Dak can throw it here on first down. This is taken in by a teammate. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover it. You need better pursuit to the ball. More bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, you've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often. And when they do, you got to seize the moment. He's got his big tight end, Jake Ferguson. Touchdown, Cowboys. Greg, every touchdown counts the same, but the ones you get in the fourth quarter, they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now the pressure shifts to your defense. Your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? Aubrey now for the extra point. His kick is good. The Cowboys go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. So the lead is seven now here in this fourth quarter. The tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Here's Watson going deep downfield for Judy. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. They'll run. He'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. A pickup of 12 yards. First down, Cleveland. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. 
It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL? And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. They'll keep it on the ground. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. To throw is Watson. He'll try to hit him with a screen. That screen goes for 12, and that's a first down. Really impressive job by the quarterback to stay in there. He knew that hit was coming in the pocket, but he held it just long enough to let his receiver win versus man coverage and deliver that ball on target. That's such an important factor. Any quarterback in the league, Mike, at this level can operate when things are clean. But when you have guys bearing down on you, can you hold it a little bit longer? Because if not, the timing of the play just doesn't work out. They'll run here. And this time, they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big gain that carry. It's second down. Sometimes you run all those big bodies out there, you kind of tip your hand. I always love going big jumbo personnel for a play action. In this case, they keep the ball on the ground. The defense knew it was... On second down, here's Watson. That's caught downfield by Cooper. And he's into the end zone. Amari Cooper. Touchdown, Cleveland. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter. And now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up, and we got ourselves a ball game. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. Even fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. And all you can do at this point, Mike, is just really marvel at how well he's been able to run the ball. And throughout the course of the game, they've certainly not been shy in giving it to him. And I think he's held up his side of the bargain. First and ten, Prescott. He's got the open man. That's Jalen Tolbert. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Here's Elliott. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down. Good running. Gets him to about the 44. A 
Again, here's Zeke. He's beyond midfield to the 45. It's a gain of 12 there. First down, Cowboys. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here. And it led to a big game. A first down throw for Prescott. This pass right side taken in by Cooks. And they'll take this down inside the 35. 12 was nice last time, so they did it again. Another 12-yard pickup, and another first down. Now give to Zeke out of the gun. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yard. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking them down for a loss. Now a second down throw for Prescott. That's to the middle of the field and caught by Cooks. Well, that helps. It's going to be a much more manageable third down. Getting some good yardage on that second down play. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. On third down, Prescott. He's got a receiver, and that's Lamb. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. That is a gain of 22 and it sets up first down and goal. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Here is first and goal. to the four, it'll be second and goal. Here's Elliot. That one only good for a gain of one to the two to set up third and goal. Fourth and goal. So, pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. Uh-huh. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from 
earlier on. He's got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Here is first and ten. They'll drop to throw. This is brought in downfield by Judy. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 74 yards. Touchdown, Cleveland. Hopkins now to tack on the extra point. He's got it. And the Browns have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. On the return, here's Turpin. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Scott. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbounds. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Hand off here to Zeke. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. A shotgun snap for Prescott. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. He's going to go all the way. How about some late magic? They've taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Third down. My focus, Greg, was on picking up the first down. Forget that. They go down the field and in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, and I don't think it was just your focus, Mike. I think in this case, it was the defense's focus. They're so worried about where that first down marker was that they allowed them to get that ball up and over the top for the deep strike touchdown. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. The extra point is good. Still a little surprising that they did not go for two. Maybe worried about the possibility of the ball going back the other way for a couple of points. In any case, the lead right now is two. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. 
They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. A good return as he takes it across the 30. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. This is first and ten. Out of the gun, Watson. And over the middle, taken in by Cooper. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Pressure time, no timeouts to stop the clock as they get set here for a big first down. Shotgun snap to Watson. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Come up now for second down. Watson to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. Throwing on third down. Watson. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. So it's a win here for the visiting Cowboys. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.